Now to the latest on the federal conservative leadership race. One of the candidates, Lisa Raitt, is on the offensive. She's launching a campaign to stop Trump-style politics here in Canada. With more on the announcement, CTV's Michelle Boyer joins us from Ottawa. Michelle, Lisa Raitt says Kelly Leach and Kevin O'Leary, who has yet to enter the race, are taking mm -hmm. the party down the wrong path. That's right, and she wants the party to win come 2019. Uh, Lisa Raitt really going on the offensive, directly attacking Kevin O'Leary and uh, Kelly Leach for things that they've said, the positions that they've taken, calling them uh, unproductive, not good for the party, not good for Canada, even going as far as to say uh, that Kevin O'Leary is just a TV personality and Kelly Leach uh, has... A, an unusual stance on immigration, blames all of the problems that we have on immigration. She's even launching a website. Take a look at this, stopkevinoleary.com. On that website, uh, she says that Kevin O'Leary supports a national carbon tax. Of course, the Conservatives don't. Uh, he's, she says that uh, he insults soldiers and veterans. He ridicules the poor. And uh, this one is, he promised to imprison union members, Kevin O'Leary. Uh, a champion, he says, of businesses, and he says that unions are not the way to go. Uh, so an interesting concept uh, and, and interest, interesting in the sense that Kevin O'Leary hasn't even officially thrown his hat into the race. Uh, he's thinking about it. He's even launched an exploratory website asking Canadians uh, for their opinion. Uh, so, you know, it'll be interesting to see what uh, he has to say about this. Uh, but when asked about whether it's a good idea to pit herself against the two leaders of the race, well, eventually, the popular ones, uh, take a look at what she had to answer. And the issue is this. It's we have two people who are breaching from what I view as the conservative path to victory, the one that elected me in 08, the one that gave us a majority in 11, the one that elected us in 06 as well. And I take my lessons from that time, and I know what it takes to win. They are not bringing us down a path that's going to take us to win. And the reason why I'm in this race is because I really fundamentally believe that the Trudeau fiscal policies are going to put us in a big problem in 2019. And I worry about my kids and my grandkids. So, Michelle, uh, Kevin O'Leary, as you say, wanted to know what Canadians thought. He now knows what Lisa Raid thinks. Uh, what other issues did she bring up today? Well, she brought up the fact that, you know, what they, what she thinks the party should run for, and this is really important because there are 13 candidates. It's very muddy right now. Nobody really knows what the future will hold. But what she says is the party needs to be pragmatic, fix problems like health care, uh, things like the economy, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the health and also uh, carbon tax, another issue there. So she says that she is obviously the one. Uh, she has a lot of experience and she even went as far as to say that she's not considered extremely partisan. She's actually, uh, she said she's nonpartisan. Uh, so will that uh, connect with Canadians? Of course, we'll wait to see who will be elected the leader of the Conservative Party. But it's an interesting and very, very, very busy race. It's hard to keep track of so many people. And there could be one more. Kevin O'Leary has yet to officially throw his name in the, in the ring. But there, something tells me if he enters the race, Michelle, there's going to be a lot of attention on him. It won't be hard to keep up he's with. Because he's a TV personality. He's a t those darn TV personalities. All right, Michelle, thanks so much. We better end it here. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, my All friend. Right.